if we were to zoom really, really far deep into that rave mandala wheel where the godheads were and, you know, all the quarters and such, we would see that this is an evolutionary spiral between one gate and another. And one gate will start off with a one and end with a six. And then the next gate will start off with a one and end with the six. So it'll, it'll be just this spiraling, this movement. So right here is a shifting point. Ra calls it the binary shift field. Now threes are designed to handle that movement, that banging into, oops. But sixes aren't really part of the hexagram itself. Sixes are a transition line between one hexagram and another. It's a continuity. It's another shift field. But instead of shifting from within the hexagram itself, it's shifting to another hexagram further down the road. So we, in our human inability, we imagine these to be separate things, but it's actually one continuity, just like that DNA spiral. It's the DNA spiral. Okay. That's all it is. All we are, are these ways of linking. So with regards to every single six line that you see, it's not part of this hexagram. It's moving to this other hexagram. It's where it's looking towards is this next gate four line one, just like the four six is looking towards up here. So there's this fragility to the six in that it's not actually part of this hexagram at all. It's something that's unique. I say the word unique like that to try and get the point across. It's something completely and utterly different unseen before on this planet, all sixes. Six line, we call them Buddha. We call them Bodhisattva. Very, very different. Everywhere you have a six has a maturing process. 